Adrenaline or epinephrine is a hormone that everyone produces. Some produce more than others, and others have a little difficulty. Sometimes we are aware that it's happening, and other times we have no idea that it's being released in our bodies. Now, a majority of people don't have to worry about the overall release of adrenaline in their bodies. And there are actually those that really enjoy the feeling of an adrenaline rush. And these people are commonly seen doing crazy things to get that rush, such as the guy that jumped off the roof and slid down the rooftop in the beginning of this video. This idea of basically forcing your body to release this hormone has led me to question why people actually do this in the first place. Why would they want to put their lives in danger just to get this rush? But before answering that question, I'd first like to talk about what exactly adrenaline is. And I thought, what better way to do so than using a clip from Kick-Ass 2. In this scene, we see Hit Girl fighting Mother Russia. And as you can see, Hit Girl is pretty much losing at the moment. And when she pulls out a mysterious liquid, Mother Russia perceives it as poison and injects it into Hit Girl. Little does she know that this liquid is actually adrenaline. When our bodies produce adrenaline, our pupils dilate, which allows more light to enter through and us to perceive our surroundings more closely. Our muscles tense, which gives us more strength, up to 40% more, and our brain produces natural painkillers, so we feel absolutely nothing as we're taking on something serious. The idea of making your body produce adrenaline is pretty extreme, considering that we've always believed adrenaline to be a hormone that's released during times when we are in danger. These situations involving danger are the ones that we typically associate our fight or flight response with. Now this response is the one that tells our body to stay and fight or flee the situation. Either way, it's designed to make us survive when we are in danger. The most common situation in which the fight or flight response is associated with is the one in which we are dealing with a bear. We can either run away from it or we have to fight it. And other than seeing this response in movies and in popular culture, it doesn't really happen that much in today's current society. We are more civilized and we're not seen out in the forest as much as we used to. However, this doesn't mean that people no longer want the effects of adrenaline. It just means that we have to find more creative ways of getting it, in a sense. Overall, this just shows that adrenaline is pretty addicting. And this just brings me back to my first question on why people want to risk their lives just to reduce this hormone. And the reason for that is because adrenaline has the same effects as cocaine would have on someone's brain. Much like adrenaline, cocaine also increases blood flow, energy, and makes us feel like we can do pretty much anything when we're on it. It's also very addictive, hence why we associate this drug to adrenaline. So the next time you see someone leaping off a building, or riding their bikes on the edge of a cliff, or just doing something completely insane, just remember that the feeling that they're getting right now is really addictive and they probably wouldn't feel alive unless they had it. Now if you truly don't feel at ease with what these people are doing then maybe you can talk to them and give them better options to acquire an adrenaline rush. You can probably convince them to go ride some intense roller coasters or endure a lifetime of stress like us college students who literally wait till the last minute to do stuff. But we traditionally don't do that. We just let people run their own course. It's their own life, so why shouldn't they get to live it the way that they want to? Also, I'm not telling you to go out and find an adrenaline junkie and tell them that it's wrong for what they're doing. I'm just saying that there's better options than wanting to risk your life to obtain an adrenaline run. With that said, we all produce adrenaline and we all use it one way or another. While one person may be using it to finish that class project, or another person may be using it as a way to feel alive in this dull world, it's natural. And the amount that we want to feel is up to us. However, too much 
can be a little concerning to the public eye.